As the Northampton Saints got the new season underway against Sale, one of their hookers was self-isolating in his hotel room in France. Sam Matavesi is one of the 29 people in the Fiji squad who tested positive for COVID-19. I was part of the 29. I was one of the, the famous 29, so to say. And I feel, I feel all right now. Um, last Saturday I had, it was like last sat Saturday, Sunday, I was, I was pretty rough to be fair. Um, all, all the classic symptoms of like, I was hot, like a high temperature. I felt like, I felt like I had like a, a bad flu, so, so to speak, if that makes sense. Um, and then I've had a bit of a chesty cough and a bit like um, snotty and phlegmy for, throughout the whole week now. And I've also lost my sense of smell and taste. So yeah, the, the, the full shebang. But um, yeah, I'm, 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 to be fair, like, uh, What's it been? It's been it's my eleventh day, so I'm, I, I I I feel fine, as in except I can't smell or taste. The, the, at the hotel we're at now, everyone's in their own rooms. The, like when you go to um to eat, like obviously it's self service, but you have your own tongs on your plate, so there's no like crossing of that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm not I'm hundred percent not sure. Like someone's obviously brought it in, and then it, it's it's come in and done the worst so does, if that makes sense um it went from france week from one to four to then 29 so yeah i i have no idea as a consequence sam and fiji have missed out on three international fixtures against france italy and scotland but they're hopeful that if the camp is clear of covid by the start of next week the match against georgia in scotland will go ahead we were so close to playing france we were Obviously, we, it was like Thursday before we were about to fly to, to Vans to, to play France. So we, we got close to one game. Um, and I think from that, the Italy game was, was definitely going to, going to be cancelled because of, of the 29 things. But you, you can definitely understand why. You know, there's, it's, it's not an ideal situation. But um, touch wood, we should be all good to go for Georgia. So um, it's been, say, it's my 11th day now. Um, we're testing on Monday. I think if all the tests come back negative, then we sh we can show the Scottish government our results, and I think we can go and play Georgia. So that that's that we had a we had like a, a similar meeting this morning on Zoom with the whole team, and it was that's what was said is just keep doing what you're doing and keep just keep isolating. It's no doubt been demoralising watching all of the other nations play some competitive and exciting rugby whilst they've been in isolation. But Sam's confident Fiji can impress when they finally get the chance. This setup is relatively fresh faced with a new coach and a handful of young players brought into the side. Just, just to have that one game is, is something. And I think the one game we can show the world what we can do, you know, un, under a new coach, a whole new set of a whole new set of coaches, some new players, a lot of young players, a new captain. Um I think if we have that chance, you know, like I said, we can show you know, the world what we can do and hopefully we can show them what they've been missing these last, these last few weeks, if that makes sense. That's definitely, that's definitely the plan. Sam is now allowed out of his hotel room for one-on-one -on -one strength and conditioning and fingers crossed a team session on Friday. Thankfully, all the players and staff have now recovered, but it goes to show how quickly and unexpectedly this virus can spread. The focus now, their match against Georgia. It's been the light at the end of the tunnel for Fiji during a six-week tour decimated by COVID-19. Kath Brazier, Forces News.